Daily Devotion with Pastor Bala for February 12th, 2024, from 1 John chapter 3, Embracing Christ-Centered Unity Amidst Worldly Hostility. Building upon the previous messages about the enduring challenge of loving one another, John drew upon a parallel for believers and the biblical figure of Cain. In Genesis, Cain's jealousy and wickedness led him to murder his righteous brother Abel. John uses this historical example to emphasize that as children of God, followers of Christ should avoid replicating Cain's destructive and sinful actions. This lesson extends to the challenges faced by churches today, urging unity, support, and a focus on connecting people with Christ rather than succumbing to jealousy or rivalry. The overarching theme emphasizes the importance of maintaining a Christ-centered perspective in individual and church interactions. So let's continue with 1 John chapter 3, verse 13. Do not be surprised, brothers, that the world hates you. Wow, in this verse, John is addressing believers and referring to them as brothers. Notice that love that's coming out. The message conveyed is also a warning or encouragement not to be taken back or shocked by the world's hostility or the world's hatred toward Christians. The world, in this context, represents the secular, non-believing society that opposes or harbors hatred toward followers of Christ. John prepares believers for the reality that their commitment to Christ and their adherence to Christian principles will lead to persecutions, rejections, or hostility from those who do not share their faith. This verse actually corresponds to what Jesus taught John, where John, Jesus warned his disciples that the world would not always accept them because they belonged to Jesus. To see more about this, visit John Gospel chapter 15, verses 18 and 19. But the overarching message is one of resilience and steadfastness in the face of opposition, reminding believers that encountering, encountering hostility from the world is not unexpected, but it's actually part of the Christian journey. This is why John previously taught us, don't act out the way that Cain did with his jealousy toward Abel. Because as Christians, we need one another. We have enough hostility from the world around us. We don't need that same hostility from the church within. And so we need to love and forgive one another, just as Christ brought his love and forgiveness first to us, we in turn can share that love and forgiveness to those around us. This is especially true for churches. Churches are made up of Christians, so we should be looking out for other churches because they also are experiencing the same hostility from the world that we are. Again, this is not a time for churches nor Christians to practice isolation. But it is a time for Christians and churches to continue to practice and proclaim Christ and the love and forgiveness that comes from Christ and to demonstrate that love and forgiveness that comes from Christ to a Christian community around us and around the world. So as Christians we continue to gather where God's word is proclaimed and his sacraments are administered. Yes, there may be some things about the structure of the church that we are not happy with, 
Remember, we are a group of sinners. But also remember, we have a hostile world. So we need that love and forgiveness that comes from Christ. And Christ brings it to us as we gather together, hearing his word and receiving that word, especially when it's attached to water, bread, and wine. God's peace and many blessings be with you. And thank you for listening. And please take an opportunity to share this message with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for listening.